We're going to go in one minute. We All right. One minute. one minute. Okay. And we welcome you here to KeyBank Center. It is high school hockey on WNY Athletics, and it is the 2024 Bowman Cup. And we want to remind you that it is sponsored by Logistics Plus of Buffalo. For all of your freight and transportation needs, email buffalo at logisticsplus.com. And the participating sponsors we want to thank as well, Just Pizza and Wing Company, 5445 Transit Road in Williamsville, 716-688-7500, and also WNY Immediate Care and U.S. Army. And on that note, hello, everybody, and welcome inside the KeyBank Center alongside my good friend, Coach Randy Schultz. I'm John Kruba, and if you thought the high school hockey season was over, well, not quite yet. This is probably the latest we've done a broadcast, but it is the Bowman Cup and uh, we should have an outstanding, we've got three games on tap for you, beginning with the juniors from Buffalo and Rochester. And Randy, it's always good when we see the All-Stars in the local game get recognized. You know, this is one of these, this is the 18th annual uh, Bowman Cup. And I'll I've been there for probably most of them. And it's really good to see this throughway rivalry going on between the uh, Buffalo area uh, high school stars and the Rochester area school stars. And in this first game, we're going to be uh, seeing, as you just said, we're going to see the uh, juniors from the Buffalo area and from the Rochester area take on each other for the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. And uh, in the second game, It'll be the seniors taking on each other for the Scotty Bowman Cup. And if it's true, as been in the past years, Mr. Bowman himself should be here in the arena, hopefully. And he will be doing the presentation of the cup. And then the third and final game, that'll be for the Rick Martin Memorial Cup. That'll be the Tim Hash, uh, it'll be the Team Hatchick Junior Prep Team versus the Team Perot Junior Prep Team. And again, as they're getting ready for the starting lineups, it's going to be awesome. The Tim Horton Memorial Cup, as Randy just stated, and they're getting ready to do the starting lineups. So we will throw it down to ice level for the starting lineups. To Keeping Center for today's Tim Horton Memorial Cup game featuring the Buffalo Juniors and the Rochester Juniors. It is now time to meet today's lineups. We will first introduce the players for your 2024 Rochester Junior All-Stars. Forwards, forwards, number 15, Keegan Ahern. Number 24, Jack Callery. Number nine, Parker Farnham. Number two, Keegan Garber. Number eight, Brady Johnson. Number 17, Simon Bowal. Number 16, Angelo Latore. Number 34, Ivan Milovinov. Number 25, Parker Monet. Number 
Number three, Maddox Smith. Number 91, T. J. Swinson. On defense, number 12, Matthew Brassi. Number four, Connor Evans. Number 18, Mitchell Monte. Number six, Drew Brinkish. Number 11, Nolan Ruffsage. Number 22, Eli Wiegand. Goaltenders, number 40, Danny Kuzmarowski. Number one, Brian Horowitz. And number 31, Reese Tanner. The Rochester Juniors are coached by Mark Staley, Joe Dugan, and Joe Jalen. Your 2024 Rochester Junior All-Stars. And now, Let's meet your 2024 NCAA Junior Ace Stars. Forward number 19, Frankie Carrello. Number 5, Anderson Cornwall. Number 9, Eric Cunningham. Number 7, Jack Tangler. Number 74, Ian Hannah. Number 8, Carson Colusi. Number 16, Dan Prickoliak. Number 92, Brennan O'Hara. Number 12, Caleb Olkowitz. Number 15, Jacob Simpson. Number 11, Carter Zetrusky. And number 22, Jackson Teach. On defense, number 2, Noah Hoffman. Number 20, Kirk Polinski. Number 18, Josh McClellan. Number 27, Jacob Murray. Number 23, Travis Kutrowitz. And number 10, Sam Welgus. Goaltenders, number 30, Annian Pretter. Number 31, Eric Freeman. And number 39, Nick Prisovason. The Buffalo Junior All-Stars are coached by Rick Brooks, Clayton Wilson, and Kevin Rosso. Your 2024 Buffalo Junior All-Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you all please rise if able and remove your caps as we honor our great nation with the playing of the Star Spangled Banner.
are getting set for face-off of the Tim Horton Memorial Cup from Key Bank Center in downtown Buffalo. And again, along with Randy Schultz, I'm John Karuba. And as the PA announcer just said <laughs> that we heard come through over the speakers, let's play some hockey. And it's going to be just, again, outstanding matches today with all the best that Western New York High School hockey has to offer, really geared up for it. Absolutely, and it should be noted here, don't think we're, we're going off the deep end here a little bit. We are playing these games with 22-minute halves. So if we happen to announce something that's beyond, a, say, even 20-minute or a 17-minute mark, no, they're playing 22-minute halves for each of the uh, three games that are going on here. And we are ready for the face-off, and over to John Caruba. And here we go. And it is the Buffalo Juniors who do win control. And we are underway from Key Bank Center. They're going to glide a pass straight up the middle. Rochester in the blue and red. Meanwhile, Buffalo is in the gold. Played to the near corner of the Rochester zone. Working it from the right circle. Tried to get him with a shot. Couldn't get it. Has it again from the near side. Drops it off. That'll be stolen back by Rochester. Played to a not out. Right point shot that redirected while wide. Almost trickled in there from the far side. Buffalo staying on the puck. Controlling it going to be number 11, Zach Krasuski. Back to the left point. Has it to the high slot. Walking in. Couldn't get a shot away. Good job on defense there by Rochester. Buffalo holds the zone. Ladles it back behind the Rochester net. To that far half wall, played to the line, and now it comes out over. Buffalo staying on the attack, right circle, coming in with a shot. Turned down that time by Kuzminowski from the far side. They will ladle a head out to center ice. Rochester going to play a lead in near side of the Buffalo zone. Rolling it around, one-on-one -on -one played, and it comes out over the line out to center for Buffalo left to right. They get stood up there. Rochester still can't clear it out of their own zone. Stolen away in the right circle. Driving it to the near corner. Has it and turns around with the wrister that gets blocked. Comes back behind the Rochester net. Tries to throw a backhander out in front. Rochester again with a good defense. They'll come away to center. Making their way and almost broke in on the netminder. Comes back to the left circle. Tries to give and go out in front. Would not connect on the doorstep. Left point held in by Rochester. They gets a nice back check there by Buffalo and cleared. A couple of minutes gone by here in the opening opening half. No score between Buffalo and Rochester. Puck comes back behind the Buffalo net from the far side. They will glide it back out to center. Rochester back to retrieve. First one back there to grab it is Rough Sedge from Webster Schroeder. He'll play it ahead up that far side. Working it from right to left on your screen. Here come the Rochester Jews, wiring one, and that's turned away point blank. Back out high to the left point. Fed down low to the near half wall. Callery trying to play it down low. That'll be stolen away by Buffalo and cleared. So far, a lot of end-to-end -end action. Buffalo's had the better of the play. Meanwhile, they keep it in the Rochester zone, try to throw it out in front. Not minder able to grab control of it. He will send it away and shovel it out to neutral ice. Rochester starting back in, galloping across the Buffalo line, gets stood up there and thrown back out. Rochester has it again as the seniors, or the juniors, excuse me, are heading off on a line change. They have it just inside their own blue line. Now they'll toss it ahead up the left wing side across the Buffalo line to the mid slot. Rochester staying on the puck one-on-one. -on -one. Takes the shove, tries to feed it down low. That'll be stolen back and thrown out to the neutral ice. Right to left, Rochester storming right back in again. Out of that right circle, trying to throw it down low. Could not connect. Back to the right point. Feeds it down low. Trying to set something out in front. Turns and fires and wired one towards the goal. Turned away point blank by Eric Freeman from Ken Maurice. And it'll be thrown right back out to center. Buffalo regrouping in their own zone. Fresh legs on the ice now. Going to push it ahead inside the Rochester zone. Right, so give it going front. What a save rebound. And he's able to keep it out as it's swatted away to the far side. Held in by Buffalo trying to play it across. That'll be stolen back by Rochester. 
Buffalo will take it and a crazy bounce off the end boards as it almost went in off the netminder. Comes to the far side corner. Rochester Jr. is able to get in. They give it away. Left circle tried to throw it back to the center point. Rochester, good job to break that up. And they'll steer it out to center ice. Rochester in the blue and red. As we still have 17 28 to play in the opening half and no score. Near corner in the Buffalo zone. They're going to weave a pass up the near side, not going to connect. And it's going to go right on the netminder, so no icing. Rochester going to start up, weaving their way out to center ice. Buffalo there to break it up. Doing a good job just breaking up everything Rochester's trying to do right now. Near corner of the Rochester zone. Steered around to the right half wall. Gallery onto the puck for Buffalo. And he gets broken up off the play. And now will be thrown out to center ice. Rochester able to push on. Takes a bump, but play carries on to the right half wall. Turns and fires. Freeman able to redirect that wide. Comes to the near side corner. Rochester with a good aggressive keep in here. From the top of the left corner, going to work it out high. Near side point. Turns and wheeled one towards the net. Looking for the deflection down low. Tip didn't happen. Buffalo able to come away with it. They will zip it on out to center on the saucer pass. Making his way Oh, Nice move to hit the Rochester line. Gets taken off the play, though, by the Rochester Juniors. From right to left, pushing it up the middle. And an errant pass goes near side. Neither team didn't know where it was for a second. Now Rochester does in a dangerous play in front of their own net. But they will nonetheless get it on out to center. Working it ahead from the right circle of the Buffalo zone. Fired one at Freeman, but that's going to go well wide. And it's cleared. Rochester there to grab inside their own zone. This is the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. Working it up the middle. Cutting in on goal. And he got in too tight and couldn't get the shot away. Buffalo able to take it away, and that was a good back check as well by Josh McClellan. And now they give it away again, and it goes through. It's in. It was a sloppy play up the middle. Rochester stayed on it, and they were able to tuck it behind the netminder Freeman, and it's Callery who gets on the board for Rochester. one nothing with 15-17 to go in the opening half here, Randy. Unbelievable as we watch on the replay there. Nice play, and again, a little bit of sloppy play by the Buffalo team. And uh, Calloway, or Cal yeah, Callery uh, picked up the puck and did a nice job. He is from McQuaid High School in Rochester. Good goal. Rochester up one to nothing here. Meanwhile, Buffalo answered with a dangerous chance right on the net minder. Kicked away. Back to the left point. Fed down low. Mid slot. Trying to turn and fire. Broken up and taken away by Rochester. Calorie going to work it up right circle with a shot. Turned down. Big time stop by Freeman to keep it a one goal hockey game. Held in at the high slot. Right circle with a shot. Freeman with a pad save. Back out high at far wall. Worked down low behind the Buffalo net. And now you can see Rochester really starting to come to life after that goal. Worked back around. Rochester hemming Buffalo in their own zone. That's broken up and pushed to center by Buffalo. Thrown into the defensive zone. Rochester back to retrieve. Pushing it up that near wing. Held in by Buffalo. Going to push it down low to the near corner. One on two. Trying to get away. He gets back checked by Rochester. Has it back right in their own net. It is going to be number 15. Working up the left point. That's Keegan Ahern. And he will take it and fire it all the way down the far side. Not going to connect, though. And we have our first icing in the hockey game. 14, a good back 13 check. to go in the opening half. Well by Josh McClellan. And, and now they give the it away again. again. And, and what a nifty slow. move between and the legs. Yeah, Somehow was that? able to slide well, it in. That's yeah, impressive, well, Randy. Very nice well job there Josh. by uh, Jack Callery yeah, of McQuaid yeah. High School. The assist yeah. on that went to yeah. Simon Cole from Victor High School in the Rochester area. It was a sloppy the play up Rochester the middle. Rochester has Rock. it. Going to roll it back, but can't clear it out of his zone. Left point stepping into a shot. Fan on second chance. Never made it through. High slot. Firing one. And again, there to make the big time stop. A big one from Ryan Hurwitz of Brighton. And he has been really good here, Randy. Even though the shots on goal are 3-3, three, three, 
a lot more dangerous chances have come from Buffalo, and he's been really good. And that was a good shot right from the point. We watch from the uh, above uh, ceiling view here of the arena, and we get a nice view of it there, and he made a great stop on that. Off the draw, center point, fed down low. Far side, Buffalo one-on-one. Has it in the attacking zone, rolled to the left point, steps into one that's blocked. Second chance, never made it through the maze of players in front. Rochester grabs it. They'll toss it out to center. Up the left side, not going to connect. That'll be stolen back there by Sam Wygos from Williamsville North. He loses control of the puck, and then the shot went right on the netminder, which is Freeman, and he's got it, and he'll cover up. And one little trivial thing here. Uh, from the start, I can remember when the Bowman Cup first began. These team colors have been the same every year. Buffalo wears the gold jerseys, and uh, Rochester wears the dark blue ones. Off the draw, slapper, howitzer right on. Freeman able to kick it to the side. Right corner tries to throw it back in front. Not going to connect. Back down the ice it goes. They'll work it out to center. Buffalo will take it and steer it right back in. As we have 13 and a half to go here, first half. One nothing. Rochester, our score. John Gruber, Randy Schultz on the call. Plays it and give it away. High slot turns and fires. And again, Hurwitz able to slam the door shut from that near wall. Buffalo shoveling it down low to the near corner. Working it around. Played to the far point. No one there. And the puck slitters back out to center ice. Goes back into the Buffalo zone from the far side. Buffalo again in the gold. Rochester Juniors in the blue and red. Working it up the middle. Buffalo has it. Working it over the Rochester blue line. Gets stood up trying to have control. Rochester able to take it away. And it'll be banked right back out to center. And now Rochester comes away with the puck. Moving in. Oh, what a move. And he flips it home. A great job there. A wonderful individual effort. And I believe it's Ivan Milovdov who was able to grab it, and he'll take it all away. He skated through three defenders and then flipped it up and flipped it home. And again, Ivan Milovdov from Batavia, Notre Dame United, gives Rochester a 2 nothing lead. And what a move, and he deked Freeman out of his skates almost there, Randy. Absolutely. And again, the uh, Buffalo squad uh, coughed up the puck in their zone, and it cost them on that one big time. And then Rochester, meanwhile, came back in with another shot, and Freeman tipped it away, and then the rebound. He did the smart thing there, Randy. Covered up. Rochester's starting to take control of the game. A little bit here, yeah, and it's uh, it's been interesting because Buffalo has really been controlling the play in the first few minutes of the game here. Rochester working it across to the left circle, feeding it down low. That is going to be stolen away by Devin Krikowiak, working it to the point not out. Rochester one-on-one, -on -one. he gets back checked, and Buffalo on the steal, working it from left to right on your screen. Krakowiak, high slot turned and fired. That got blocked away. Comes to the near corner, one-on-three. Buffalo staying on it. Out of the right half, I'll try to throw it in front. Wouldn't work. Rochester stealing it away, and out comes the right circle for a wrister. That got blocked, tried to go short side. Buffalo still trying to put the attack on. Down by two. They have it again, working it out high to a right point, trying to feed it across. That'll be broken up by Rochester and sent down the length of the rink. Buffalo first back to grab it inside their own zone. One-on-one -on -one, almost gave it away. <clears throat> Played on back to the point, but not out. At the left point, Buffalo able to grab, and now they'll roll it back out into Rochester territory with 11 and a half to go in the first half. Two nothing Rochester, here comes Buffalo. Oh, what a give and go, tic-tac-toe into the back of the net, and Buffalo gets a much needed answer. 11-20 to go in the first half. I think we have an offensive shootout on our hands, folks. Rochester two, Buffalo one, and Craig Kowiak with a huge response call. Absolutely, and I'm not sure. We take a look at it here. I believe it was 15. Jake, was it 15? I'm just trying to catch his well, number here. Well, Kowiak was the one that was leaning the line in the handshake, so I thought it looked to be him, but we'll see how they announce it. Meanwhile, Rochester wins the draw. Center ice, they're going to push it on into Buffalo territory. 
from the far side. Buffalo regrouping. They really did need that goal, bringing it up the ice left to right. Wygoss going to try a lead in right side. Not going to connect. Stolen back by Rochester. They'll make their way up through center. Working it across the Buffalo line. Out of that far corner, one-on-one. -on -one. Bill zipping across. Sharp angle shot. Turned away by Freeman. And it's Buffalo who will back in and out the center. Working it over the Rochester line. From the top of the left circle. Going to work it down low. Find the Rochester net. Threw it in front on the doorstep. Gallery able to break it up for Rochester defensively. And now he'll tuck it the rest of the way down ice. Buffalo back to grabbing their own zone. Going to roll it up the near wing. Buffalo able to take it right back, and they will push it out. Rochester re-enters the zone. He gets hog-tied to the ice, but play carries on. Buffalo able to take it back behind their own net. They'll glide a pass up that side. Saucer to the left wing. Across the Rochester line. Full out of steam. Has it. From that left corner, threw it in front. He had someone go into the net, but it didn't work. Comes to the near corner. Buffalo staying on the puck. Find the Rochester net. Mid slot trying to set up a one-timer. Rochester able to break it up defensively and clear. Meanwhile, the puck is going to go rolling through the crease in the Rochester zone. Out of the near corner. A risky play right in front of the net. Bouncing puck, but Rochester gets the handle and throws it out to center with 9.26 to go here. First half of two between Rochester and Buffalo, and it's Rochester with a one-goal edge. John Kruber and Randy Schultz with the call here on WNY Athletics from Key Bank Center. From the near half wall, that'll be broken up by Rochester right to left. Here they come left through the wrist here! And a beautiful shot as he wires it home. And with 9.04 to go in the opening period, Rochester gets the goal right back. They're now up 3-1. to one. That's Keegan Ahern. And, Randy, I think the only thing I could say there, what a shot. Picked the corner, and he got it. Absolutely no question about it. And he got it all the way as we watch it here on the replay in that. And, uh, again, Rochester really taking over the game here, taking a 3-1 to one lead here. Rochester has it again in their own zone from the far side, working it up the middle. One-on-one, -on -one, they cross into Buffalo territory on a left circle. Buffalo breaks that up. It's Kirk Klinsky in across the Rochester line. Going to work it down low. Rolling around, held in by Klinsky for Buffalo left circle. Turns around, fire, same made rebound, trickles loose. That's turned down a third chance off the side of the net to the far side. Rochester quickly gets it out of there. Buffalo, though, they restart, working it across the Rochester line from the top of the right zero, going to work it down low, back to the right point. Klinsky gets hammered as he tried to push it down low. Taken away by Rochester and thrown back out. Buffalo staying on top of the puck, working up the middle. That is broken up. Rochester back across the Buffalo line. From the left circle, a shot gets blocked, but not out of the zone. Left circle right in front. Oh, and Freeman able to get across as that is a quality save right there on a great chance. Meanwhile, Buffalo gets their way out to center. Racing across the Rochester line from the far side. Back checked in transition by Rochester. Sent ahead to the Buffalo blue line. They will slap one in on Freeman. Very easy stop that time with a stick save. To the far corner, rolled around. Rochester hemming him in. Driving in from that far side. Thought about working it down low. Buffalo able to pick that pass off. And they will throw it back out to center ice. Working it ahead up the right side. It is Rochester. Meanwhile, clock has stopped. But we continue to play on here. From the far side, and Buffalo going to turn and fire one. It deflected up in the air, and the goaltender gloves it down. He's got it for the whistle, and yes, the clock did stop as we take a look at the replay on an outstanding save by Freeman. Absolutely, and there comes the shot. He, was, he came right across the net in front of him there and made a great glove save. And we'll see if this clock starts up again here. Uh, there, there was quite a number of seconds. There we go. The clock is ticking. 
Off the draw, comes to the left point. Fed down low to the far corner. Controlled. Boy, you wonder how long the referees would have let play keep going with the clock being frozen like that. Meanwhile, Rochester up the middle, giving away. Buffalo in on goal, and that's turned away by Hurwitz. Another dandy save. Comes on back to the right point. Rochester gets their way out to center. They'll backhand a pass up along, dropping it off for the trailer. Rochester feeds it across, but there was no one there. Played to the line, not out. Pushed down low. Feeds it across left circle with a shot, and they bury it again. And Rochester, that time it was Swenson. They are really starting to pull away. 8.20 to go in the opening half. Rochester 4, Buffalo 1. And Randy, Buffalo right now not doing themselves any favors with these turnovers and Rochester making them pay for it. And they're capitalizing on a lot of them. And believe me, that was a beauty right there. And again, it was another big, big mistake. And again, they left... Buffalo leaves their goaltender hanging out there to dry, and uh, he had no choice. And uh, so now Rochester has a very commanding 4-1 to lead here in the first half of this game. And it was T.J. Swinson from Webster Schroeder who gets the goal. Buffalo, meanwhile, pushing it ahead, working up the near side. That is going to be broken up by Rochester. Here comes Swinson again from the near side where the pass is broken up. Good job defensively that time by Josh McClellan. He'll work it through the middle of the ice, in across the Rochester line, feeding it back to the left point. Zip down low. Buffalo really needs another goal here. Tries to throw it off the netminder, Hurwitz, who smartly decides, I've got about three yellow jerseys coming at me. I better cover up and hold on for good measure, and he did. And on that, uh, let's see, on that third Rochester goal, the assist went to number two, and I'm trying to just find his number here on the uh, sheet. And right now, to be honest with you, I do not have a, a number two on the sheet. And I did hear them call it out as number two. So I will get back to you on that one. I believe that's Keegan Garver from Pittsburgh. Off the draw, right it on, goal save made. Hurwitz down, they tried to slide it behind him. But again, he is down, stacks the pads together, and he has got it for the whistle. And again, uh, Buffalo trying to put some pressure on here, at least to get another goal to get the get back in the game. And uh, they've got a long ways to go here. They still have 737 remaining in this half. And off the draw, it is chipped towards the netminder. Still not going to work it around to the far side. Held in left point. Played down low. Work it in a hide. Oh, Swinging it back. Sir. Buffalo down by three goals trying to answer. Instead, Rochester throws it out to center ice. Buffalo on it again, whipping it ahead from the right circle. One on one, wheeling it back to the left point. Going to step into one that never made it through. Turnaround shot. That one does go in as he picked the low corner. And I said they needed a response goal. They just got it. And that is going to be number 15, Jacob Simpson, who just Fired a bullet passing up Minder Hurwitz, and it's four to two. Hang on, folks. Got plenty of hockey left. But what a start. And you got six goals here, actually, in about the first 15 minutes of this game. And boy, that was a great shot. He took it and went right for the outside of the net there and got it. Buffalo off the face. I could have rolled it down low. Near corner out in front, and he had a wide open cage, but he put it high and wide. To the far side, Rochester grabs it. Now they turn it over, but they grab it once again on the back check and throw it out to center. As we have 6.40 to go in the opening half, 4-2 Rochester. Here's Buffalo coming in on goal in tight, but Rochester doing a good job. Back to the right point, Klinsky loading up, and Hurwitz able to handle it, and then looked like he wanted to play it to the far side but the referees came in and blew the play dead. So with 6.27 to go in the opening half, Rochester still up by two. Faceoff coming up to the right of Hurwitz. And it is going to be controlled by Buffalo. They have it working it around. Rochester breaks it up, but not out. Held in at the left point. Zip down low. Rochester takes it away. They'll throw it out to center. 
Making it across the Buffalo line, left circle, firing one, and that's blocked away. Back to the right point, held in down low to the far corner. One-on-one -on -one Buffalo just trying to get it out, and they do so. Out the center, one-on-one -on -one takes a bump, but it is Buffalo who tries to gain the Rochester blue line, but could not keep the play on side, and we get a whistle here with 5.54 to go in what has been a very entertaining first half here, Randy. Wide open, to say the least, and a lot of goals scored here, and it's been really interesting to see, and it's going to be interesting to see how they handle the goaltending situation here with three goalies on either side. And it is going to be Rochester who plays it ahead up the near side. Going to work it down low. Far wing, Rochester has it. One-on-one -on -one still being hemmed in. A lot of pressure being thrown at him by Buffalo. Rolling it around to the far half wall. One-on-one -on -one still controls. Now he'll start up and exit the zone. Working it. Taking it coast to coast. Oh, nice move. Right circle. Drops it off in front. Couldn't get a shot away. They jam away at it. And the puck goes wide and right through the goal mouth. Back around Rochester, though. Keeping the pressure on. Going to work it down low. Controlling it is the Rochester Juniors from the top of the right zone. Turns and fires block. Second chance. Fan on the rebound as he tried to fire it into an empty net. Buddy Fan. And now Buffalo starts back in the other direction. Right circle coming in with a shot point blank on the two on one, but that's going to be whistled wide. Rochester makes their way to center, gliding a pass ahead. Left side, feeding it down low. Looking for someone on the doorstep. Tried to find someone in front. Good job on defense by Buffalo, though. And that's going to be number nine who grabs a hold of it. Eric Cunningham from Will South and Hill playing out to center. Rochester tried to gain the Buffalo line, but they lose control again to Buffalo. We'll push it into the Rochester zone. Out of the near corner, one-on-one. -on -one. Fighting, that puck is tied up. Meanwhile, clock continues to roll here. We got four minutes left, 4-2 Rochester. Back to the right point, broken up and fired all the way down. Meanwhile, in that minor out, he will drop it off to his lead defenseman, bringing it up ahead, working it to the left side, working it over the Rochester line, tried to get it ahead to the high slot. Rochester picks it off, starting back right to left on your screen, tried to cut in on goal. That'll be swatted away by Freeman. Buffalo grabs control. They'll make their way to center as it's the Tim Horton Memorial Cup here on WNY Athletics. Tried to ladle a pass down the far side, but it goes into a Rochester bench out of play. And we've got two new goalies in. I believe it's uh, Nick Prezioso from Starpoint and Rise Tanner from Batavia Notre Dame United. Off the draw, Rochester going to wheel it ahead. They have it again. They'll make their way out to center ice. Working it across the Buffalo line, out of the right circle. Turns and fires. Turn away, right in the slot. Big time stop made that time by Prezioso. It's thrown away here. And now Buffalo played ahead up the right wing side. Across the line. Stood up there by Rochester. And they'll throw it back out to center. Simon Kowal of Victor back to grab it in his own zone, and he will leave it off to Nolan Ruffsedge. Working it up the middle of the ice, back through center. Going to go into Buffalo territory. They control it, and they're going to send an outlet down the right wing. Does not connect. And this, I believe, is only the second icing of this first half. And, Randy, that's pretty incredible. And that's a well-paced game. Absolutely. And uh, again, with 2.48 remaining here in the first half, we have had six goals so far. So it should be interesting to see how this, the rest of this goes. Off the draw, pushed on back. Held at the left point, Maddox Smith from Canandaigua, working it to Ahern, who comes in with a shot, but it's floated over top of the net. Buffalo takes it away, but not out. Ahern on the keep in already has a goal. Turns and now he might have another one. Is it got deflected? I don't know if it changed direction, but it finds the top shelf. And Rochester with their largest lead of the game. They're now up five to two with 227 to go in the first half. 
and Ahern just took it, fired it. Good things happen when you get it to the net, and that's what happened there. Absolutely, and again, a good shot coming in from the point there, and yes, it may have been deflected. We will have to wait and see who gets credit for this goal. Rochester wins the draw at center. Buffalo on the steal. They'll push it into the Rochester end from the far side, working it down low, controlling it as they announce Maddox Smith with the goal. He has it behind his own net, working it up the far side, pushing it out. Buffalo on the steal, and they will glimpse it right back into Rochester territory from the far side, played to the line, not out. Push down low, left circle. What a dandy move to get to the net, but he couldn't get the shot away. And now Rochester starts out from right to left on the screen. Played up the middle. Buffalo able to kick it out of danger, though, and work at the center. Rochester re-enters the Buffalo line. Puck tied up along the near corner. They have it to the mid-slot. Feeding it back left point, coming in with a shot, and that's nowhere near the netminder Prezioso, and it goes up and out of play. But it, quite a first half, Randy. 5-2 Rochester, seven goals. Absolutely, and it's been dominated by Rochester. The first couple, three minutes, uh, Buffalo seemed to try to take control of the game, but after that, it was all downhill, and they now trail by three with a minute 20 remaining here in the first half. And it is Rochester who grabs control. On the offensive zone faceoff, Brady Johnson. It's stolen back by Buffalo, though, and they will float it all the way down the near side into Rochester end from the far wing. Going to make it out the center, wheeling it ahead up that left wing and controlling it there. It's going to be number 14, having it for Rochester, and that's Moitka working it around the boards. Stolen back again by Rochester from center. Slapped it in on Prezioso, who will leave it to his D-man. As we have 40 seconds left to play here in half number one, Rochester by three. Meanwhile, an outlet down the right side did not connect. I seen the call. And on that fifth goal for Rochester, it was given to Maddox Smith, number three. And the assist went to Keegan Ahern of Pittsburgh. And again, Maddox Smith is from Canandaigua. Off the draw, Buffalo has it from the far corner. Going to roll it around. Held in left point. Worked down low in your corner. Backhander in front wouldn't connect. Buffalo able to steal it back, though. They'll make their way left to right with 20 seconds to play. Working it across the Rochester zone. Left circle coming in with a shot over the top of the net. Controlled here in the near half wall. And then a backdoor pass. Almost had a tap in, but he was on his backhand and couldn't convert. From the far side, Buffalo grass control and a penalty coming up here as two players got mixed up and a Rochester player was tripped. And I think we're going to have a penalty and it's going to go to Buffalo. And indeed it is it only with took, seven it only, seconds left. I was going to say it only took 21 minutes and uh, approximately uh, 43 seconds to get that first penalty of the game. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But we do, and it's going to go to Daigler, number seven, Jack Daigler from Canisius. So Rochester now on the power play. Buffalo wins the draw, and from the far side, they're going to take it and fire it all the way down the far side. And that is your first half, people. And that's not a term you usually say in hockey, the end of the first half. But in this case, it is. And Rochester. Up by three, despite being outshot 10 to nine. And so Rochester with a three goal lead. And we will be back with the second half right after this. It is the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. And this period was brought to you by U.S. Army. And you are watching the Tim Horton Memorial Cup on WNY Athletics second half next. Recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. 
What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. You're watching another live stream production by 300 Level Media, LLC. 300 Level Media can highlight your business by incorporating commercials, live reads, and corporate logos throughout our WNY Athletics events. WNY Athletics is the premier high school sports streaming service in New York State. Covering regular season contests through the state championships and everything in between with over a million views annually. You can find more information about advertising on any of our platforms at WNYAthletics.com slash become a sponsor. 300 Level Media is a locally owned and operated multi-purpose media company right here in Western New York. You'll find us everywhere covering the Bills, Sabres, Buttes, Bisons, Big Four Basketball, local college sports, and much more. Our staff offers a variety of media services from video production, live event coverage, audio broadcasts, professional voiceovers, camera operation, and videography. Visit www.300levelmedia.com or give us a call at 716-427-2600. This is 300 Level Media. a lot of businesses? Yes, we do. How about restaurants? We got a bunch. Do you cover property damage? Yes, we do. How about my equipment? Covered. How about sewer backup? We got it. What if my cook gets hurt? They're covered. Foodborne illnesses? Covered. What if my party tank goes down? Covered under property damage. And you say this is all under one policy? One policy. When do I pay? Once a month. Just one time? Just one. Is there anything you don't cover? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 31. Tables. <sighs> we don't do tables. Gotta love Buffalo. For more information, visit www.paulwolfagency.com. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. My name is Lisa Roosevelt, owner of the Rose Byron Grill, located at 199 Scott Street, downtown Buffalo, in the heart of the city. Great place, friendly atmosphere, have great drinks, have great food, and we have awesome customers. If you come to the Rose, I guarantee you, you're coming back.
Here, back here at KeyBank Center, Rochester up five to two in the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. The Rochester Jack Juniors with a five well by to two lead, McClellan. despite and being out shot ten nine. And it but it's when you bank are right able to create turnovers center, and take advantage and Rochester of comes those away types the of puck. things, moving that can in. help what make a up he for the shots on goal. We're seeing some of them right now, Randy. Chance. And Rochester has done a better job on capitalizing on their Rochester. Here comes Buffalo. Oh, what a give and go! The lone goal that was first goal that Buffalo scored. Half wall that would be broken up by Rochester, right to left. Here they come and left through the wrist That was a clear. He and took that one all the way in himself. No he question it. about it. Nice uh, nice shot just up on the middle, there. giving away. Indeed. Buffalo in and on goal, and know, that's turned away by her. The Buffalo Juniors are going to want to line up. Out is push down low. The play in their own feeds zone. it across left. I mean, circle with a shot, and they bury it again. And you see the point break opportunity right there. Not a great pass across. Turn around shot. That one does go in. As he picked the low corner, and I said they needed a shot. Period, but not there. out. Today, Dave Hearn on the key pin. Pin. Already Rochester has a goal. Once again Turns in now. He might have another one. And again, they just kept the coming back and coming back and putting pressure direction. on that uh, Buffalo defense. And again, we see the score here. And again, uh, we will uh, maybe just take a break here and uh, go uh, to a break before oh. we start the uh, second half. So first intermission, Rochester, uh, after the first half, up 5-2 to two over Buffalo on the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. And Rochester will have the power play when the second half gets started. John Kruba and Randy Schultz here. It is the Tim Horton Memorial Cup on WNY Athletics. Second half next. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. 300 Level Media is a locally owned and operated multi-purpose media company right here in Western New York. You'll find us everywhere covering the Bills, Sabres, Buttes, Bisons, Big Four Basketball, local college sports, and much more. Our staff offers a variety of media services, from video production, live event coverage, audio broadcasts, professional voiceovers, camera operation, and videography. Visit www.300levelmedia.com or give us a call at 716-427-2600. This is 300 Level Media. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Do you insure a lot of businesses? Yes, we do. How about restaurants? We got a bunch. Do you cover property damage? Yes, we do. How about my equipment? Covered. How about sewer backup? We got it. What if my cook gets hurt? They're covered. Foodborne illnesses? Covered. What if my party tent goes down? Covered under property damage. And you see this is all under one policy? One policy. When do I pay? Once a month. Just one time? Just one. Is there anything you don't cover? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 31. Tables. We don't do tables. Gotta love Buffalo. For more information, visit www.paulwolfagency.com. 
and we welcome you back to KeyBank Center, and it is the 2024 Bowman Cup Tournament. This is the first of three games. It is the Tim Horton Memorial Cup, and the Rochester Juniors up 5-2 to two over the Buffalo Juniors, despite Buffalo up in shots on goal 10-9, but Rochester leads on the scoreboard where it's most important, Randy. And yeah, that's uh, that's the big thing. And again, you've uh, mentioned it uh, in our earlier segment here that one of the things Buffalo's got to do is clean up its act down in their own end. Uh, they gave up too many opportunities, and really Rochester took it to them. Uh, again, when you see just the uh, few amount shots on goal, that uh, that is a telltale sign right there. So again, we'll see what they talked about. And again. This is a group of players who probably have not had that op much of an opportunity to play with each other throughout the season, so they're they're still trying to connect that way. But Rochester seems to be taking full advantage of it, no question about it. Indeed, and as we get set, we again want to remind you, as Coach Schultz pointed out at the start of tonight's broadcast, is that they play two halves. So even though it says second on the scoreboard, it, you would treat it in a hockey game, a regular one, as if it was the third period because this is the last half. Buffalo's got to come back here or the game is over. Absolutely, and uh, and again, we'll see what happens here. And again, you've got uh, really six good coaches between the uh, between the two squads, and so I'm sure they've tried to tell them something. We'll turn over the play-by-play -play to John Carubo. And here we go. Second half is a rocket and rolling from KeyBank Center in Rochester has it again they will whip it into the buffalo end klinsky fan on the clearing attempt but buffalo still can't get it out puck works its way to the right circle high slot fan a shot gives it another chance and that's going to skitter wide comes to the near half wall working it around to the near side point man has it thought about letting it go plays it off to the right half wall Worked back across for a shot, and that's a big-time stop there as there was a screener in front, but he was able to make the stop, and he's got it for the whistle. That was a great opportunity, but a better save to keep it a three-goal game. And again, uh, right now, Rochester is on the power play. They have a minute 16 remaining in that power play. Off the draw, that was a slapper right on the net. Miner kicks it away, lays it on back to the left point. Rochester still with the man advantage. Winds one, lets it go in the tip and goal. Just a well set up shot at the left point. And I believe that that was number four who took it, Connor Emmons. And then it was number 25, Parker Manette from Spartan Hockey, who tipped it home and they make good on the power play. And it's now 6 2 Rochester. Beautiful deflection as he goes right through the wickets, 6-2 Rochester. And again, he was planted right in front of there, and he just tipped it in there very nicely and got it in there. And now Buffalo has really dug itself quite a deep hole. We'll see if they can come back. Buffalo makes their way across the Rochester line. Right, so it turns and fires, kicked away. Held in at the center point, and a backhander is going to go over top of the net. That was by Wygoss from Williamsville North. Feeds it down low, try to feed it across. When not connect, comes to the far side. Still trying to get it loose. And it is played not out. Fed down low Six. to the right side. Six. Rochester steals it away. They'll make their way to center. Right to left, across the Buffalo line. From the right circle, going to slip one in on goal. No problem that time for that, Minder. As that is Prezioso, and he's got it. And again, uh, he got uh, credit, as we said. Uh, and that was a big-time shot turned away. And then a second opportunity, and he stone-cold robbed him that time, did Prezioso, as that was number 18 coming in with a dangerous chance. Mitchell Monty from Fairpoint. However, he tried to get it by him, but he said denied and gets the whistle. Monty from Fairport High School. Rochester wins the draw, near side point, going to ring it around the boards, working it out high to the far side, going to zip it down low, looking for someone else, stolen away by Buffalo, played, and it comes out through center, 
into the Rochester territory. One-on-one, -on -one, trying to play it around. Buffalo comes up within the attacking zone. High slot with a shot. That is blocked away. Comes to the near side and comes out over the line. Back out through center ice. One-on-one. -on -one. Controlling at Buffalo, trying to get it out. And a punishing check delivered there. And that was Keegan Garber who delivered it for Rochester. Meanwhile, Buffalo tried to respond, and they're going to get a call here as Okulowitz touched up for Buffalo. And here comes the second penalty of the game delivered to the Buffalo Juniors. And it looks like it may be going to Eric Cunningham. I'm oh, not. The play to Buffalo's number nine, Eric, Eric Cunningham. Cunningham. He's from Williamsville North. And he'll get a two-minute penalty for tripping. So once again, Rochester goes on another power play. Brady Johnson about to take the draw for Rochester. Coming down right to left on your screen. John Gruber, Randy Schultz on the call. The Tim Horton Memorial Cup here on WNY Athletics. And it is taken away here by Buffalo. And they will take it and fire it all the way down. It's going to go on the netminder who will kick it away. Stolen back by Buffalo. Comes to the mid slot. Broken up there by Rochester. Makes their way out through center ice. Working it up the near side. Broken up and again from center. Going to steer it in. Deflected and kicked away. Rochester able to make their way up right to left. Working it across the Buffalo line. From the right circle. Johnson stops up. Working it back across. Try to feed it down low. That wouldn't work. Back out high to the left point. Rochester having Buffalo in their own zone again. From the left circle, that's one goal. That's kicked away. Another minute, 10 to go on the power play for Rochester. However, they give it away to Buffalo at the near side point. Working it ahead through center ice. And from the high slot, they're going to turn and fire. Kicked away. Puck going, rolling around the Rochester net to the near side. Working it up the left wing, still not out. Rochester able to grab it from the far side. They will start back up now with 45 seconds to go on the man advantage. Rochester now officially holding the edge and shots on goal, 12 to 11 over Buffalo, and lead the game by four. From the left point, going to drop it back, stolen away by Buffalo, and clear it all the way down. And then the nutminder gives it away, comes to the high slot, and that's wired wide. Back to the right point, took a shot. As then the nutminder out of position, but that's blocked away. Puck comes right out in front again, played away with the goal stick to the right point, stolen back by Rochester, and they'll ladle it ahead into the Buffalo zone where they'll take it and they'll steer it all the way back on the nutminder. The final second's going to tick off, and the power play is over. We are back to full strength. Rochester hitting the Buffalo line from the right half wall. Turned and fire never got it through. Partially fanned on it. Out of the near side, tried to throw it in front. Wouldn't connect. Second chance, and they wrap it around and stuff it in. What an opportunity. They faked the net binder, and he was a little, the goaltender got caught leaning, and he's able to jam it in the other side, and with 17, 28 to go, in this second half, Rochester with a commanding 7-2 lead. And wow, that, that is just something that uh, should not have happened as we watch it on the replay here. Coming around, comes right around behind the net and just tucks it right in there. Never saw it coming, and uh, they have a commanding 7-2 lead. Buffalo wins the draw. They'll play it ahead left circle with a shot. Turned out. Comes to the near corner. Rochester on it one-on-two. They'll start up right to left on the screen. A long lead pass goes right on the netminder. Prezioso, far side, Rochester on it. Seven working it to the center point, but Buffalo four. takes it back. Scoring From left to right, here they come streaking over the Rochester line, playing it to the left circle. Would not connect. Has it again from the far side. Stolen back by Rochester Juniors, pushing it ahead to center. Buffalo re-enters the zone, cutting in, find the net, throws it right out in front, save man, and then somehow the puck crosses the line. Yes, it does. Buffalo is celebrating. They have scored. And so they come right back about a half minute or so after Rochester goes up five 
Buffalo gets back to within four, and Randy, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. If they have any chance of coming back, they really needed that quick response, and it got through the netminder. And again, that comes right after the goal by Angelo Latore of uh, Rochester. He is from Penfield, and it looks like it was number five, Anderson Cornwell from St. Joe's, who scored that goal, but we'll wait to hear officially on that one. And off the draw, Rochester making it across the Buffalo line. And another wraparound chance. That time the netminder wasn't fooled. Came right on the doorstep. Buffalo plays it to the line. And Rochester, though, did not hold up. And it's going to be an offside call. Rochester up by four as they expanded their lead. And then Buffalo came back. And the second half picking up where the first half left off. Off the draw, Rochester. Work it left circle. Backhand goes wide. To the far side, try to throw it in front and bank it off a defender. And this time the netminder has it, and he gobbles it up for another whistle. And right now, <clears throat> Rochester is really dominating the uh, the game. No question about it. At both ends of the ice, they are really taking it to the Buffalo team. And off the draw, it's played up the middle. Stolen away. High slot. Rochester Rister got fanned. Has it again. Callery. Nice move to get away from a four-checker. Played it across. Turnaround shot blocked. Back to the right half wall. Fighting for possession, and Buffalo's got it. They'll make their way to center ice. Across the Rochester line. Darts it to the left side. That would not connect. Rochester able to grab. They'll float a saucer out to center ice. Up the left wing. Calorie left circle. Monty coming in with a wrister turn away and then gets wiped out afterwards as two players kind of collided. But everybody's okay. The net went flying. But the good thing is everybody back on their feet. Obviously, no ill intent there. Um, and that's what you like to see. Players going hard to the net. And that's kind of what we got there. And we have a penalty. Yeah, we do have a penalty. Going to Rochester on that play. And it. Uh... <laughs> Play to Rochester, number 25, Parker Monette. So Parker Two. Monette is the one who gets the gate. Two. So a big opportunity, Randy, to get another goal closer. Six. Buffalo wins the draw. It's right. He wires it in. He flew it right by the netminder. And that is what I call letting one rip. And on the power play, Buffalo is back to within three. We got a hockey game. Rochester seven, Buffalo four. And what a well-located shot. And it's almost like if you blinked, you would have missed it. And I'll tell you, he didn't even, he didn't waste any time on that. He just rocketed that shot as soon as it hit his stick and he just let it go. And again, a very quick turnaround here. Another power play goal in this game. And you've got 11 goals now through several minutes of play here. These other games that are coming up got to be looking at this a little jealous. This bar is being set real high as it's 7-4, and that's Eric Cunningham, who was the one that fired it right by the netminder from Williamsville North. Played out the center ice. Play carries on. Rochester has it inside their own zone from that far side behind the net. Working it back across. Buffalo. And they're going to play it up the middle of the ice. Here comes Rochester across the Buffalo line. Out of the right side. Tried to fire one off the net. Minder wouldn't work. To the far side. Buffalo plays it, but not out. Held in at the right point. Zip down low. Buffalo steals it back. And they'll work to center from left to right. Buffalo Juniors over the Rochester line. High slob of the shot low. Turned away. Rebound. And it is Buffalo as it again comes back to the right point, steps into one, kicked away, left circle chance. And once again, the netminder standing tall as that's Kuzmanowski making some big time stops here. Meanwhile, it is Buffalo who regains the Rochester line, has it high slot. Oh, nice move, fires a shot wide, ricochet chance, turn away as he stone Wygoss. In that right circle, and then tried to chip it off the netminder, but he said, that's enough of this, and he dives on top of it for the whistle. And I think Buffalo definitely feels they're not out of this game yet. 
Uh, they are uh, down by three with 13.56 remaining, and it looks like we've made another goaltending change here. This one coming now for the Buffalo team. It'll be Anian Bretner from Lewiston Porter in there now for Buffalo. Meanwhile, Buffalo has control, and Wygoss going to push it into Rochester territory from the near side, fighting for control. One-on-one, -on -one, pushing it ahead, working it up the left side, and it's going to be rung all the way back into the Buffalo zone from the far side, working it ahead, held in by Rochester, sends it around the end boards to the near corner, working it ahead to the left side, held in by Rochester, throwing it around to that far wing. Buffalo under attack in their own end, pushing it up the middle of the ice. Rochester able to grab it. Buffalo says not so fast. They steal it back. Look out here. In on goal. Turn away. Rebound. And again, the netminders got it between the pads and the butterfly. And I think he was a little nervous for a second there, Randy. But he does have it for the stoppage of play. And a very nice Buffalo save. And no doubt so he fast. stayed they steal right it back. on it. Look out here. Watch it on the replay in on here. goal. Turn and away. Rebound. In. And they and Buffalo again, got a second the swing at it, got it and uh, the just pads couldn't and the get a good piece of it. And he hung on to it between his pads and and, and forced the face off. And Rochester wins the draw. They'll play it up the middle, working across the Buffalo line. Feeds it to the far side. Buffalo takes it back across the Rochester zone to the far corner. Tried to get it in front, but no one was streaking there. Stolen back by Rochester. Working it ahead right circle. Coming in with a shot. Turned away by Bettner, who stayed with that one to the far corner. Buffalo Juniors under attack, so they'll push to center. Rochester gets it, and they'll fire it right back in again. Meanwhile, Bretner out of his net for Luport. He will push it ahead to center for the Buffalo Juniors, who trail in this one 7-4 with 12-14 to go. Second half. Fighting for control of the puck. Puck still tied up in neutral ice, and now it'll go into the Rochester end. As both teams completing wholesale changes here with 11.55 to go in this second half, and Rochester guarding a three-goal lead. Right circle, Buffalo tried to set one up on the centering pass. Wouldn't work. Rochester making their way out of the zone. Long pass on the ladle. That connects. Trying to work it across to the left side. Buffalo picks it off in their own defensive zone, and they will shovel it back out to center, lasering it along into Rochester territory from the near side. And now they lose control. Right, Searle, point play chance, and what a shot as he just delivered it high. He beat the goaltender offside, and here comes Buffalo with three consecutive goals, and they are now within seven of five. And that was number five, Anderson Cornwell. And you can see why he's an all-star from St. Joe's, his second of the game. And he just placed that perfectly inside the far post. And off this draw, it is Buffalo who wins it, but they lose control to Rochester. Right circle turns and fires. They made second chance. They almost shovel it home from the near corner. Calorie tried to play it in front, working it to the left wall. Out to the left point, stepping into one. Instead, it's a slap pass down low to the far side. Rochester trying to respond. Buffalo able to steal it on the centering pass in front. And it just comes out over the line. Rochester pushing it back down the far wing. Buffalo back to retrieve it quickly inside their own zone. They have it with 10.40 to go in this second half. Rochester up by two. Buffalo from left to right in the gold. He loses control of the puck that was Klinsky. Rochester grabs it. They'll push it inside their own blue line. Far side working it on ahead. Going to guide it down into Buffalo territory. Rolled around to the left point. Held in by Callery. Sent down low. Turnaround shot, and that's turned down. It Now ricochets back up to center. Could be a two-on-one for Buffalo. Left center tried to get it in front, wouldn't connect. From the near side, a backhand pass in front. Back to the right point, 
and unable to keep it in. It goes back through center and all the way back down. Buffalo back to retrieve in their own zone. They'll work it ahead up the right wing. Gallops across the Rochester line. Comes to the high slot. Kellery there, though, to take it away for the Rochester Juniors. He'll back in a pass all the way down the right side. Not going to connect, but no icing. Play carries on. Rochester in the attacking zone. Ahern, who has a goal and an assist so far today, tried to get it to the mid slot. Stolen away by Buffalo, and they will push it out to center up that left wing. Comes to the left circle, tried to throw it in front. Stolen back by Rochester. And they will roll it out to center. Buffalo able to get it across the Rochester blue line. Fed down low to the near corner. Rochester able to take it back again. And they will glide a pass up the middle of the ice. Just inside the Buffalo blue line. And oh, almost had a breakaway. But they rule that Rochester didn't keep the zone. So offside the call. And Garber can only dream about that opportunity, Randy. He was going to go one-on-one -on -one with the netminder. Absolutely, and it uh, did not quite work out that way. And it is Buffalo who wins the neutral zone faceoff. Plays it up the near side, but stolen back by Rochester. Have it at the left point. Works it across from the right half wall. Fed down low. Buffalo takes it back. And they will work it ahead up that right wing. Broken up again by Rochester. Feeding it across. No one there. Buffalo inside their own zone there to grab it. As we come up on 8.20 to go. Second half of play. Rochester up 7-5. to five. Buffalo has scored the last three unanswered. As they re-enter the Rochester zone. Out of the far corner. Still fighting for control of the puck. Roll around and Rochester able to grab. They'll work up the far wing and push the saucer back out to neutral ice. Across the Rochester line. Here's Garber now with a shot. Same made Rebound. Oh, and that almost trickled in. But Buffalo able to regain it. And they will get it out of danger. That would have been a huge goal for Rochester at this stage of the game. But Buffalo steals. Comes out on the doorstep. And what a job defensively to come back. Making sure that Buffalo couldn't get that shot away. Rochester making their way out across the Buffalo line from the right side. High slot. Wrists one, and that's turned down. So some very good goaltending here as of late that we're seeing from both sides. Left point held in. Rochester trying to work it down low. Back checked by Buffalo. Not out. Left point coming over the shot. Same in, and then the rebound. They chip it home. As they stayed on the rebound, and they had a nose for the net. You could feel it coming, Randy, and that is a very important goal with about seven minutes to go in the second half. Rochester now up by three as we look on the replay. And again, a great, great second effort. Here's the initial shot. Watch this one. He sees the open net, and he just puts in the Goes for the, what I thought was the backhander, but he just flicked the shot in there, and that gives now the Rochester team that comfortable three-goal lead with seven minutes remaining in the second half. Although I have to tell you, in a game like this, I'm not sure there is a comfortable lead. Rochester makes their way across the Buffalo line from the far side. Stolen back by Buffalo over the Rochester line. High slot gives it off, and that's stolen back by Rochester. Working their way across the Buffalo line. Trying to sprawl it across. Broken up by Buffalo. Two on three across the Rochester line. Out of left circle. Toe dragging. Gets back checked, but played to the line. Not out. Buffalo keeps it in with a shot. Oh, and I think it caught part of the post. Meanwhile, it stays out. Back to the right point. Buffalo trying to keep the zone. But Rochester still has it in their own end. From the far side there to grab it. Number 11, Nolan Ruffsedge, going to work it up the left wing side. Buffalo breaks it up, and now they'll make it over the center line. Winds and fires turned away there. And the puck comes to the far half wall. Buffalo keeps it in. Ruffsedge able to steal it for Rochester. He'll roll it along the end boards. 
working it up the near side. Buffalo turns it over again. High slot winding and fired, and that was a rip, but turned away. Left circle, Buffalo still on it. One on three. Hill winding and fired towards the goal, and that's going to go wide. Comes to the near half wall. Tries to throw it across. Wouldn't work. Held in left point. Buffalo hemming Rochester in right now. Right circle, left backhander. That is deflected over top of the net wide. Once again, Buffalo on it. Stolen back by Rochester. And they'll push it ahead out through center. And going to go back down into Buffalo territory. Why got to able to grab it for Buffalo from left to right. Working it ahead. Over the Rochester line, mid slot with a shot block. Second chance off the side of the net. Buffalo staying with it. Right circle, and he'll turn and fire. Save made. Rebound, turn around, kick save. Third opportunity blocked. Four chances deflected away. And now comes right in front on the side of the net, and that one wouldn't go in from the near corner. Buffalo all over Rochester, trying to get it to within two. Working it back around to the left point. Good job by Buffalo to keep the zone. Going to be broken up by Rochester, and they'll send it down. And both teams going to head off on a well-deserved change after that shift. Meanwhile, Buffalo working it up the left wing. Not going to connect, and icing is the call. And Rochester able to survive that barrage from Buffalo. And uh, it has just been a, a – the time is now beginning to be a real factor here, to use that cliche, 424 remaining, down by three goals. And we want to thank our sponsor, Just Pizza and Wing Company, 5445 Transit Road in Williamsville, 716-688-7500. Off the draw, turnaround shot, turn away point blank. It's stolen back by Buffalo. They'll make their way to center, working at far side. Going to be broken up here by Rochester, working it over the Buffalo line to the left side, rolling it around, held it at the right point, has it again from the center, working it off to the top of the left circle, and it is Buffalo who loses control, throws it right out in front. Buffalo able to take it away. They'll push to center, working it down the far side. A Buffalo player tripped and taken to the ice, and Rochester touches up. And that is going to be a penalty coming up here to Rochester. And for Buffalo, if they have any hope of pulling a comeback off, they need to take advantage here. And we take a look at the replay of it. No question about it. Interference call there on that one. And uh, so now Buffalo goes on another power play. And I'll tell you, power plays have been deadly today for both teams. Buffalo wins the draw. Center point works at left center. Now back to the right point, steps into one and snatching it out of midair, making the stop that time was the netminder, Kuzminowski, and what a save as that was a hard-fired deflected shot and he stayed right with it. No question about it, and we see it from the sky cam here. He has made a really great glove save on that. Off the draw right point. Held in Buffalo on the power play, center point shot, turned away. And it's Rochester able to grab, and they will clear. John Kruber, Randy Schultz on the call for you tonight is the Tim Horton Memorial Cup, first of three here on WNY Athletics. And Rochester, shorthanded chance, but couldn't get the shot away. Puck still tied up. Comes back by the Buffalo net from the far wing. Buffalo Juniors dropping it off. From left to right, coast to coast. Over the Rochester line, left side, circling the net, looking for someone. Fed down low. Buffalo setting up shop, right circle shot, turned away with the glove side. And then the puck ricochets and goes all the way back through center. Buffalo having to retrieve with 52 seconds to go on the man advantage. Buffalo really trying to make something happen, down by three. Two and a half to play. And a reminder, they play two halves, so we're coming to the end of regulation here. Buffalo making it through center ice, working it across the Rochester line, one-on-one, -on -one, fighting for control, and Buffalo comes away with the puck in enemy territory. Still another 30 seconds on the man advantage. Right point, Wygoss going to feed it back out high. Try to zip it down low. That'll be stolen, but still not out. Buffalo turns and fires, kicked away, 
And then the rebound is sent all the way down by Rochester. So by the time Buffalo goes back to retrieve it, the penalty expires, and we have officially returned to full strength, given away, and Rochester will use that opportunity to zip it right back out to center ice with 90 seconds left to play. Rochester across the Buffalo line. Juniors have it for Buffalo working up the far side. That'll be broken up by Rochester. They tried to shovel it across the Buffalo line. So Rochester getting closer and closer to victory here. From the far side, they're going to wheel it up that near wing to center. One on two, pushing it on ahead. Puck tied up just at the blue line of the Buffalo zone. Buffalo on the gold from left to right on your screen. A hit delivered there as we now are inside a minute left to go here in the game. Rochester up by three. Rochester pushing it ahead. Buffalo, though, there to steal. They lose it to Rochester. Left circle of the Buffalo zone. Working it back out high at left point. One on two. Drops it off down low. From the left corner, Buffalo there to steal it back. Stolen away, Rochester right in front, backhand. And again, the netminder stays right with them. And he's got it for the whistle. But now, with 29.3 seconds left, now you could start feeling comfortable if you're the Rochester Juniors, but what a stop by the Buffalo Netminder. As we watch it on the replay there, and again, he had a good backhander on that one, and then Buffalo Netminder right on top of the play. And it is Rochester who wins the attacking zone, draw right in on goal, turned away to the near half wall. Buffalo steals it back, making it across the Rochester line, drops off right circle, coming in with a dart. That was a laser, but Again, the netminder was there, and he's got it for the whistle. And again, with 15.2 seconds, this is uh, pretty much locked up by Rochester. They will uh, take uh, the Tim Horton Memorial Trophy here home with them. And Buffalo right off the draw on the rebound. They stamp it home on the backhand. Not going to matter much with 10.5 left, but for Buffalo, they climbed to within two. It's now Rochester 8 Buffalo six, well executed play and a better finish that time. And that was by number five, Anderson Cornwall, his second of the night for Buffalo. His third of the game saw a hat trick. So Anderson Cornwall with a hat trick. Buffalo off the draw, playing it across the Rochester line, trying to throw it off the goaltender right through the crease with two seconds left. One, and there is your hockey game, and what a game it was. Rochester Juniors skating off with the Tim Horton Memorial Cup. Your final score, Rochester 8, Buffalo 6. So congratulations to both teams for a great game. And the Rochester Juniors, you got to give them credit. Final score presented by Logistics Plus. Rochester taking on the Memorial Cup, the Tim Horton Memorial Cup with the 8-6 win, Randy. And again, uh, Buffalo has nothing to be ashamed of. They played a good, solid game. They just came up a little bit short, did not uh, play well in their end on a couple of those goals. And uh, again, Rochester skates away with the uh, Tim Horton Memorial Cup. So as far as there is a lot of offense in this game, but who would you have as a player of the game? Coach Schultz will turn it to that now. Wow, that's uh, that's a loaded question here. With Rochester, I, I really liked the uh, play of T.J. Swinson. I know he was involved in a couple of the goals there. No question about that. But um, you can't you can't deny a guy from buffalo anderson cornwall st joe's who gets a hat trick that's uh that's a pretty interesting thing in itself with a game like this so before we sign off here just want to thank our sponsor and then we do have two more games coming up next but we do want to thank our sponsors logistics plus of buffalo for all of your freight and transportation needs email buffalo at logisticsplus.com and the participating sponsors just pizza and wing company as we are going to be going down to the presentation here, Rochester with the 8-6 win. Yes. 
and actually both teams need uh, the Buffalo team's already lined up there, and now the Rochester okay. team is uh, that. And we'll we will go down to the ice level for the presentation. The winner of the 2024 Tim Hurton Memorial Cup, the Rochester Junior All Stars. Will the representative from the Rochester please come up and accept the Tim Horton Memorial Cup? Congratulations to both the Rochester Juniors and the Buffalo Juniors for an outstanding game. Okay, so just okay. one, we are going to sign off here, but again, we thank. Our sponsors, Logistics Plus of Buffalo, Just Pizza and Wing Company, Western New York Immediate Care, and the U.S. Army. So, for Tim Gardner, producer, executive producer, Frank Wolf, and Randy Schultz, I am John Karuba. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back in just a little bit with the Scotty Bowman Cup, but your final from the Tim Horton Memorial Cup, Rochester, the juniors winning 8-6 over Buffalo. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you watched it right here on WNY Athletics next game straight ahead.